Good day. Uh, today's video is, uh, is about the Oracle support website where I'll provide you practical tips on using Oracle support and explain you the new features of Get Proactive. And I'll provide you a practical example with Oracle EBS version 12. So Oracle has invested heavily in enterprise support and now they deliver through their support website a complete hardware and software coverage. Oracle support website is included with your support contract for most of you. So specifically let me log in So once you log in, the get proactive fun uh, functionality is under knowledge, but the website has not. This website has changed a bit. There's a dashboard that provides an overview of your current interactions with Oracle. The knowledge base, where the get proactive initiative is right here. The service request is when you open a ticket, and patches and updates is when you want to verify and validate your patches uh, for your products, for your local products. This should, you should be doing this for probably on a, on a quarterly basis. You should put that part of your schedule. So let's talk about the Get Proactive uh, initiative. So the Get Proactive initiative, so we'll click here, Get Proactive. Like we said, we're gonna discuss about Oracle eBusiness Suite Financials. So on this aspect, the uh, the Get Proactive initiative is, breaking, is broken down into three areas. Prevent, Resolve, and Upgrade. The Prevent feature, it provides you tips and tricks on how to optimize your system health and help you with known problems that, that other customers are, have been impacted on so it's more of a preventive it's preventive actions so this is a this is this is where you're able to look at it so for example if you look here I have a smooth paired close with payable R12 there's an act and the discover if you click on the act a document will appear explaining this functions explaining exactly what this function is all about The discover is a video. Is a video explaining the, the document. So prevent the prevent function helps you discover health recommendations from Oracle. Helps you in one area uh, an explanation of the issues and risks within this example EBS it provides you critical information to preventing problems you can even configure email notifications to ensure that you receive alerts and you're able as you saw if there's some very good webcasts that put you that that, that help you understand and uh, avoid pitfalls Let's go to Resolve now. So if you look at Resolve, Resolve is all about resolving issues and negating any type of downtime. The feature that I like a lot about Resolve, it provides, like in our example, uh, Oracle EBS R12 diagnostic, diagnostic support data collection support and provide some health validations. Uh, Resolve is all about improving system availability and trying to resolve problems faster. Again they have the same feature ACT and DISCOVER. ACT will provide you the documentation and DISCOVER will be in a video format.
and the upgrade. The upgrade is to help you remove risk from the upgrade process. As most of you know now, a lot of people on Oracle are doing an Oracle upgrade to version 12 or to Fusion. Uh, the upgrade information here is a, is a one-stop shop to help you understand your risk, what is certified, what is not, what patches need to be installed, and the upgrade advisor. The advisor is, is a life cycle advisor that helps you tackle the upgrade with known patches and it provides you a structured approach and process. The patching and the maintenance under upgrade helps you, uh, helps you execute a, a patching strategy. The upgrade advisor provides you best practices and step-by-step -step instructions to help you feel confident on the, on the upgrade. The upgrade planner is, uh, is, 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 a, is a plan to help you with your, with your patches and software requirements. And your platform certification, well, what they call here certification report, it's, uh, it, it helps you here to get all the information that you require to certify your platform prior to the upgrade. So this this will uh, conclude my session here on the Oracle support website with EBS Financials as an example. Um, what two tips here? I rec I highly recommend logging in on a weekly basis to the support website, and there's a lot of good videos here, and also there's a what they call the My Oracle Support Community, where that's a community of network of Oracle professionals and clients that share focus on the share their examples and their experiences and their best practices. I would recommend you also joining that. Hope you enjoyed your video and provide me your comments.